Today we're looking at the Dragon Ball Super Dragon Stars Zamasu figure. Now this is a very beautiful figure when it comes to sculpt, and we'll look at more here. This figure comes included in the Fusion Zamasu build figure line, and he includes the last part you need, the leg. Well, a leg in which to complete your Fusion Zamasu figure. So there he is before and after his little transformation and whatnot. As you can see here, he's about the same size, which, I mean, at the start he was, but he grew into a monster pretty quickly there, so we'll look at that later. But anyways, on to the figure. He comes with all the articulation you've come to expect. Just a ball-jointed head, no neck articulation, which I'm fine with, you know, that's fine. I don't really use that often. Ball-jointed shoulders, swivel biceps, double-jointed elbow here. He comes with the swivel and, uh, I mean, the ball joint and the swivel on the wrist. Comes with ball-jointed... Uh, hips, but you really won't get much use out of them. Ball jointed torso there, double jointed knees, which again, same as the hips, you won't get much use out of. And ankles that actually have a range of motion. I know, surprising, given the last few figures. The figure also comes with a good bit of accessories. He comes with his little laser sword accessories, which I have displayed with him due to how slightly difficult it is to do it to get it on in front of the camera. He also comes with uh, two open palms. Here's one. Uh, there's the other open palm, and he comes with two closed fists, one being on him, and here is the other one. Let's see if I can get that to pick up here. Yeah, you can't really see that, I'm sorry. And then he also comes with a very neat accessory. He comes with this uh, halt hand, I'll call it. Just a flat-fisted hand, open palm. It's a very nice accessory to have included. So he comes with a good bit of accessories. He, uh, is second for accessories, and uh, unlike the last figure that came with a lot of accessories, this sculpt doesn't really suffer. So the sculpt detailing is actually very nice. He comes with a very nice head sculpt, nice tunic sculpt, very nice draping tunic. Uh, here's his skirt, again if you want to call it that, again in the back, and his arms and whatnot. So this figure is very good in that regard, but it fails in others. Uh, your shoulder pads don't really block any articulation unless you want him like lifting over his head, but even then you can still have him do that. But it's really this uh, comma that blocks all the articulation. His way, his hips are basically useless. You're not really getting to get him to stand anything besides just a static pose here. And his knees are, I'm gonna, like that's as far as you can get him because any farther it's just like, yeah. So really the double jointed knees really don't do much. It's really only a single joint since you can't really bend them to that. But look at that. The ankles actually have a good bit of motion to them. So, that a, gets a nice score just for that. Um, yeah, I don't know if Bandai could have used like a softer sculpt for the waist. I don't know if the color correction would have been wrong or anything. But yeah, and then my other complaint here is the hair. The hair seems really weird, and his face looks almost too babyish rather than evil like it should. The hair just doesn't seem very crisp in the sculpt. The sculpt's decent, it's got good shape to it, but I feel like it should be a little sharper at points, like the curl of his hair right in front of his face is too soft, I think. Which, I mean, yeah, it's a, technically a kid's toy, but I don't see any kids buying these. <laughs> um, but yeah, the head sculpt could have should have done a lot better on. Um, Height-wise, he's good. As I, sh as I uh, was showing before, he matches the height of the Fusion Zamasu figure, which... I guess very beginning of transformation he should. Then we'll, we'll show him next to our standard of greatness, the blue Goku. Which he's a little shorter than Goku, which, you know, as he should be. Well, he may be slightly taller. A little shorter, I'm counting the hair, of course. So, yeah. Very good figure. But due to the lack, I'm going to say lack of articulation, but because it's lack of practical articulation, in the waist and, well not waist, uh, the hips and the knees. I'm going to talk a few points. I'm going to give him a 7. Because the head sculpt could be cleaner. The knees could be cleaner. I mean, the waist. I don't know what you do with the waist. But I don't know. It's just, it feels like there's no articulation. It feels like you're only, you have a statue from the waist down. So yeah, thanks for watching.